coins that can make you rich. Do you want to know which coins that will make you rich? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to tell you. First off, if you're not into getting rich and just want to collect coins, then you come over to PortsmouthCoinShop.com and buy some coins. If you think you have a unicorn and a coin that's going to make you rich, you can post it over here at CoinHelpU Community, and we will give you the factual, correct, truthful answer. Now, let's take a look. We're going to look at coins that can make you rich. They all have something in common, though. Most people probably haven't thought of this, but in the last 20 years, can anyone in the audience here, anyone that's viewing this video, can come up with one coin, one article, reputable, that actually someone found that made them rich that wasn't graded by PCGS or NGC or ANACS? One coin. Now, I know there's some private sales and things like that, but I'm talking about just an ordinary person finding a coin and change your collection and selling it without grading it first and becoming rich. One example, that's what I want. I doubt you find one. I don't know of any personally. I don't know of any example of someone getting rich selling a coin that wasn't graded in the last 20 years, 20, 30 years. That's a very important and valid point that people need to think about. If you want to get rich with coins, you're probably barking up the wrong tree trying to collect coins. If you want to make some money, you can, but even that's difficult at times. Even some coin dealers don't make it. So I'm going to show you this as an example of coins that do make you rich, but unfortunately there's a reason, and it's not as easy as people think. So ignore the articles that tell you you can get rich with pocket change, you can get rich off of finding coins and all that. It's just, it's just a way of saying something to attract your attention, to get you to click on the article or whatever it might be. Or video. So we're going to take a look at. So we're going to take a look at heritage. These are coins that are literally make you rich. They're worth millions of dollars. Okay, and there's a reason for that. They're special, and they're all graded, and they've already sold. There's a lot of fakes of these out there. That's what you have to be wary of. Some of these are known for only so many examples. They're well studied, and you're not just going to find one but it has to be authenticated and graded to sell it. That's what people don't seem to realize. Now, this is your rarities, your rarities of all rarities. Then we can go to the mint errors, the mint errors that sold for the most. $141,000, and this is just heritage, and I went to the view pass, I went to the highest price first, $141,000. Now, that's not chump change to most people, but it's not really making you rich. I mean, it's a lot of money to make you you know, well to do. And if you're good with your money, you can actually increase that. But it's not millions of dollars. It's not like to me, something that's hundreds of $500,000 or more to me is kind of rich. It's not a millionaire, but a millionaire is really rich. But there's million dollars isn't a lot anymore. I mean, it is in the scheme of things for someone's personal life. But in the scheme of things for the whole entire world, it's really not. But the bottom line is, is everybody can argue over what's rich and what's not. But here's all the mint errors, the most valuable mint errors that have sold on Heritage in the last few years. And as you can see, you know, it's not earth shattering as far as millions of dollars or anything like these articles make you think. So before you think you can get rich with your coins or you want to sell your coins for a lot of money, they've got to be in a PCGS holder, NGC holder, even an ANACS holder. I mean, at least at that, you're going to have to send them to Heritage or Stacks and Bauer, Stacks Bowers, uh, something like that, or great collections, and they'll send them off for you. They'll look at them and say, hey, they're rarities. I mean, you probably want to send them pictures, and, and you want to query them first. You don't just want to send a bunch of change to somebody. No one's, that's not how you do it. You're not going to find this, these kind of coins in your change anyways. You know, you might find a 69S that's worth 10, 20, 30, $40,000. People have done that recently. That's probably your best chance is a 69S double die. It has to be the double die, struck by a double die. So anyways, thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.